Even though Google Analytics 4 does not have a lot of built-in reports, you can customize and create them. In this video, I will show you how to add five SEO reports to Google Analytics 4. First, let's start with the landing page report. More specifically, the landing page report of those sessions that came from organic search engines. So to get started, let's go to reports, then keep looking for a report that is related to pages. In my case, it is available in engagement and then pages and screens. But in your case, the names of the reports might be different. The structure might be different. So just keep looking for something that is related to pages. It might be available here or maybe in other sections. So just keep looking. In my case, I will go here and then I will click customize the report because what I will do is that I will customize the report and then I will save it as a new report. So click here and then click dimensions. Here, make sure to leave only landing page and query string dimension. If you don't have it, then add it by clicking here and find that dimension. And when it comes to other dimensions, you can just remove them. So now I have just one dimension, I click apply, and then the report might look something like this. Then go to metrics, remove views because this metric is not very well compatible with the landing page dimension because of the way how that metric is calculated. So remove that and instead add sessions. Once you find that metric, add it and you can drag it, let's say somewhere right here. Now you can click apply, but we're not done yet because now this report shows data of all traffic sources, but we want to take a look only at organic search. So click add filter and then keep looking for dimension that is called default channel group or in fact, session default channel group. And here you should select organic search. In my case, for some reason, Google Analytics 4 is not displaying that. So I will just enter organic search like that and then select all values containing organic search and then click apply. The numbers now have changed and this filter is displayed right here. Click save and click save as new report. Here you can enter landing pages, organic search something like that, and then click save. Even though you have right now created the report, it still will not be available in the sidebar right here in the reports section. So we need to go to library and add a new section right here. So let's go to library while we are in the reports section and edit the collection that is published. In my case, that is lifecycle, but in your case, maybe you have some other collections. So in this case, I will click edit collection and let's say that I want to have a new section because I have acquisition, engagement, monetization, and retention. But I want to have one more, which could be called, let's say, SEO. So I will click create new topic and I will name it SEO. Then click apply. And now let's find in the detail reports section, we need to find that landing page report that we have just created, which is landing pages, organic search. So just drag it and drop it right here. Well, it did not work. So if you're facing a bug like this, maybe it will work after I reload the page. Let's try again, apply, and then drag it right here. Click save and click save changes to the current location. So now if I go back, I will have a new section right here, which is called SEO. It is in the lifecycle collection and this is the first report, but we will create more and we will add all of them right here. So if we take a quick look at the landing pages report, here you will see what are your top landing pages, how many sessions started with those landing pages. So it basically means page views of those particular landing pages. And then if you scroll to the right, you can also see how many conversions did you get in those sessions that, that started on these pages, revenue and so on. I'm working here on a demo property. So a lot of data right here is kind of fake or you know just for testing purposes but if you have implemented things such as conversion tracking or e-commerce tracking you should start seeing some numbers right here all right let's go to the second report that we are going to create and that one is about devices so we can go to tech report tech details and this is the report where we see users and other metrics you can also change dimensions right here but again this report now shows the data of all traffic sources, not only organic search. 
Of course, you could add a comparison by clicking here and narrow down the data. But what if you want to check this report fairly regularly and you always want to see the data only coming from organic search traffic? So in that case, we could create a custom report, which will be basically the same, but it will have a filter as well. So while you are in the tech details report, you can go to customize here. By the way, again, just a reminder that in your case, the sidebar might look different. So just keep looking for reports that mention something like tech or technology or devices or browsers or something like that, and then edit that report. So once I click customize report, here I will leave all dimensions and metrics as they are. They're useful, but I want to add a filter and narrow down this data set. So I will click add filter and then I will select again session default channel group and here I would normally select organic search in the list but for some reason I'm not getting that value so I will just enter organic search like that then I will select this and click apply then we can save the report so click save and then save as a new report we can call this let's say tech or tech details is fine as well and then organic search click save also, one more thing that might be useful is that you can change the default dimension right here because right now it is browser, but maybe you want to look at the data based on the device category. So in the dimension section, click and then click three dots next to device category and set it as default. You can also drag it right here and click apply. So now this report will be showing device category as a default dimension. Then if you have already saved the report, click save and click save changes to the current report. Now let's go back and let's add that new report to the SEO section right here. So I will click edit collection in the lifecycle collection and then I will scroll down to find that tech detail organic search. For some reason I get two of them. I'm not sure which one is right. Again, maybe a G4 bug. So let's say that maybe this is the correct one. And then click save and save changes to the current collection. Let's go back, let's click SEO, and here we have two reports. You can click here, and here is the report, but you can also switch between other primary dimensions. And for example, in this case, most of the organic traffic is coming from desktop, and if I had some conversions tracked, I could also see the distribution between different categories and how well they perform when it comes to revenue and conversions. All right, now let's go to the third report, which I call search engines. Obviously, most of the websites will get traffic, I mean, organic traffic, mostly from Google search. But if you want to quickly check how those search engines rank and how much traffic are you getting from each search engine, you could build a report for that. So let's go, at least in my case, I will go to acquisition and I will build a report based on the traffic acquisition report. So you should be looking something related to traffic acquisition, not user acquisition, but traffic acquisition. So I will click here and then I will click customize report. Then in the dimensions, I will leave only session source dimension available because that's where the name of the search engine will be stored. So click three dots next to all other dimensions and remove them like that. Then this one, this one, this one. And if you have even more, remove all of them, just leave a session source. Click apply. Now let's add a filter here. Once again, we are going to use session default channel group and I will enter organic search and click apply. And there you have it. Now you see the report and you can see how many users and sessions and so on did you get from each search engine right here. Of course, there are some nuances. For example, this and this are the same Yahoo engines, but their sources are different. So they unfortunately will remain as different search engines in this report. But when it comes to other search engines, at least many of them, this will work just fine where you have Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo, and so on. Like if you really wanted, for example, to aggregate these search engines like this, like this, and this to Yahoo, you should investigate an option to create a custom channel group where you define the top search engines and one group would be for one engine. Anyway, let me save the report. So click save, save as a new report. And then 
we can call this search engines. Click Save. Now let's go back, go to Reports, Library, then I will edit the collection, and then I will add one more report to the SEO section. So scroll down, keep looking for Search Engines Report. Here it is, and then I will drag it right here and then click save and save changes to current collection. All right, so right now we have three reports in the SEO topic right here. Then the next report, or actually two reports, are related to Google Search Console. So first of all, below the video, you will find a link to a tutorial where I explain how to link Google Search Console with Google Analytics. You need to do that, and then you might need to wait for some time, let's say for 24 hours. I honestly don't remember the exact time that you need to wait until that data from Search Console is imported to Google Analytics. So after you have connected Search Console and you have waited for a while, then in your Google Analytics for library, you will see a new collection in the list of collections right here. This property is not connected to Search Console, but I have another one, which is. So here, one of the new collections will appear and it will be displayed as Search Console. But in my property, I already have a new collection, which is called SEO. So what we will basically just do is that we will get two new Search Console reports that are made available automatically, and we will just include them in that SEO collection right here. So to do that, first, you would need to go to the library of your Google Analytics for property, then edit the collection where you have that SEO topic. So you would just need to click here, for example, the edit collection button. And then when you do that in the list right here in the search, enter the word Google. And you will see two new reports. One is Google organic search traffic, which contains data coming from search console, including device category, landing page, and so on. And then the other one is queries which will contain the keywords that people enter in Google search. And thanks to those keywords, they landed on your website. So once you find these two reports, just drag them to the SEO topic that you have created on the sidebar. So, you know, drag the one, drag another one, and then save changes to the current collection. Those reports will look something like this, where you have landing page, you can see how many Google search clicks did you get, impressions, and so on. Then you can select several other dimensions and their data is also imported from Search Console. And then when it comes to search queries, you will also be able to see those keywords in the second report that you added from Search Console to your SEO topic in the collection somewhere right here. So once you add these two Search Console reports, don't forget to save and click Save Changes to the Current Collection. The reason why I'm not doing that because this demo property, it is not connected to Search Console. So I was jumping between this property and my real property right here. And the last thing that I wanted to share in this video is related to exploration. Basically, the question is, what are your people doing on your website when they land, for example, on homepage, but they came from organic search? So to do that, you should go to Explore, then select Path Exploration. And here you can click start over and then select the starting point. You can select the page path. And let's say that we are focusing right now on the home page. So the home page is displayed as this slash right here, at least on most websites. But now let's narrow down and see the data only of the organic search. So let's go to segments, click plus, and then include those sessions. So choose session segment and then select the dimension, which is session default channel group. And it should contain or be equal to organic search and click apply. We can name this segment, let's say organic search visitors and click save and apply. This will be automatically added to the report. Let me select some longer time period. And here I can see what people did after they landed on the homepage. So some of them went to the login page. I would just like to remind you that this is a demo property. So a lot of data here is just for testing purposes. It does not make sense. So these numbers also don't make sense. But in normal property, you would see more pages here, probably bigger numbers. And then once you click here, you can see what people were doing. Then you can click other nodes and expand and see what happened after that and so on. 
So one of the examples that you could also analyze is first you would need to check the organic landing page report, see your top landing pages, and then you could, let's say, click start over, select starting point, and then select other page paths as your starting points based on what are your most popular landing pages. And then you could see in different scenarios what people are doing on your website and how they navigate from the landing page to some other pages. Unfortunately, this report cannot be added to the sidebar of reports because it's in another section. So you will need to keep in mind that if you want to see the paths, you will need to go to explore. And that is how you can add SEO reports to Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.